And good morning, folks of UCO, as well as that and beyond on YouTube. I am here today with Austin and Mosley. I Austin and Mosley. Austin Versett. I am Austin Versett. This is Austin Mosley, and this is Above the Fold. Today, we have kind of a story that was it was really crazy and shocked the UCO campus, and because it was some it was a person that some of us know. I I understand it too because I was an athlete. Austin, go ahead and give us an overview of kind of what you talked about in the story. You know, people you talked to, things like that, and what you found out. Okay, so uh, there was a UCO football player named Derek Loxident. Uh, he went to the dollhouse uh, late Saturday night around like 10.30 or so. Um, they were celebrating a friend's birthday, and uh, everyone you know, started getting rides home, but he didn't have a phone. Mm -hmm. uh, so he wasn't able to contact anyone to get an Uber or anything, and he ended up just you know, walking home by, by himself. Uh, and then you know, he started to cross some train tracks, and uh, you know, we're still trying to figure out you know, why he decided to, to cross and go mm -hmm. underneath, but he sure. decided to go underneath the train tracks. And, you know, it was a stop train at first. And then once he was underneath, the train started moving and it, it severed his foot. And he was able to make it just, a, you know, a few hundred yards away uh, to get some help. And, uh, you know, someone found him and was able to call the police and get him to a, a hospital. Yeah, that's that's an extremely crazy thing. And, and for those of you that don't know, Derek Loxton is a UCO football player. I think you said in the story he's appeared in nine games, right? Yes. I think he's appeared in nine games. Like he had 15-something tackles. I believe he's a sophomore as well. I believe I've actually met this kid at one point. And I, I was a former athlete. I played a little college football myself. So I understand how stressful this probably is for him being an athlete. You know, you want to get out there and play, and it looks like, you know, your career is almost coming to an end. G give us – who would you talk to? What did they say? You know, even I, – I don't know if you got the chance to talk to potential witnesses or anything like that, but I did know you talked to Alicia Weber. Yes. Uh, I know you have a statement in there from, from uh, Coach Bobek. You know, what, what, who would you talk to? What would you find out? Uh, so first I tried to, you know, I contacted OKC police to try to just get as much information sure. from them. So they gave me general information, uh, but they didn't have a police report up mm -hmm. yet. They're still trying to, you know, gather everything. Uh, but then I talked to Alicia Weber, who's a, who's a student here. Sure. And she, she was with him that night because mm -hmm. her boyfriend, uh, you know, knew uh, Derek Locks and they were having, you know, a huge, a huge birthday party. Just uh, So she was with him that night, and she was able to give me uh, a lot of information to go off of. Cool, cool. And, and I know you said you wanted to mention something about something that Alicia said and, and like yes. kind of fix something. So Yeah, so uh, I was told that uh, Derek had told a few people that if he didn't crawl fast enough that he mm -hmm. felt like he would have been cut in half, but that was, in fact, not the case. He didn't feel that way. Uh, at all that was just you know misinformation on our part so uh, we do apologize for that sure no not a problem at all not a problem at all I know, I know you guys do your best to reach out to sources get as much information as you can and, and the story was brilliant it was fantastic so nothing to worry about there you know it, it, again this is a crazy story it's something that I, I woke up and I saw it on a push notification from from News 9 and I looked at it and it said UCO football player and I was like okay and, and then I have a buddy that I actually went to high school with uh, he played with me uh, his name's Chandler Garrett he plays, yeah, right, quarterback yeah. at UCO, and he had tweeted about it, and I was like, no way, no, like, no, I, I feel like I'm going to know who this is, and I, and I did, yeah, I, I think I'd met the kid at one point, just a, an overall crazy story, and there's a lot of speculation going on about, you know, was he drunk, we don't know, I'm, I'm not going to speculate, I have no clue, Austin said he didn't want to speculate, we have no idea, but we do wish Derek Lawson at the best, again, just, just, it, it was, it's just so nuts how fast it can all happen like that, you right. know, it's, it's crazy, and I, and I guess, one more question for you. I mean, again, you talked to Alicia, but was there was the, was there any like witnesses on the scene that you know he got a few hundred yards away? Who did he talk to to get help? And it's it's crazy to even think that he got a few hundred yards away with a severed left foot, like no foot. Right. He's basically hobbling, and a, folks, two hundred yards. That's that's a long, long way to go. You know, whenever you don't have a left foot. So like, did did you get to talk to anybody like that? Or? I tried to figure out, you know, who was able to to help him uh but i wasn't able to figure that out okc police wasn't able to tell me that and also okay. his foot was you know returned to the hospital sure. so uh -huh. and i tried to figure out you know who was able to, to do that they also weren't able to tell me that but uh we are going to have an updated story to give us you know okay to cool. get a little more information there should be a police report up uh by now and we also have another source who's willing to talk to us uh about what happened that night right and, and i know coach bobeck he did issue a statement basically and i'm, I'm paraphrasing here he said something to the to the to the fact of like it, this isn't about him just being a football player. This is about him being a man that we need to be here for, right. which I think is awesome coming from the head football coach. Are you planning on reaching out to him, getting maybe more comment? I mean, if if so, what are you planning on? Talking yeah, of about? course. I'm going to try to talk to to Bobek just. To, I mean, again, just to get his thoughts on on the whole situation and mm -hmm. you know, you know how the football team's just just sure. feeling in general about you right. know what happened to Derek. Right, right, and how he's going to handle it and things like that. Austin, thank you so much. The story was brilliant. It was thank fantastic. You. Just like every other Vista reporter out there, we thank you guys for all of your hard work. For Austin Mosley, I am Austin Brissett. This has been Austin and Austin today with the Above the Fold podcast.